Okay, let's have reset this uh, Motorola E4 from Verizon Wireless. Uh, the phone must be powered off and remove external memory card to save some files like pictures, videos, and contacts because everything is going to be uh, deleted on this phone. Okay, uh, this process will uh, remove any password, pattern, or pin blocking the screen with the phone. If the issue is with the Google account, uh, this process will remove the Google blocking the screen, but after, after the factory reset, you will have to confirm or verify the Google account uh, registered on this phone in order to proceed and, and, and get to the initial setup, okay? So uh, it's very, very important that you know the Google and password because if you don't, then uh, your phone will be uh, blocked permanent, permanently. So uh, just so you know, okay? All right, you're gonna start using volume down and power key. And um, as soon as our um, open, uh, recovery option appears, you're gonna release those two buttons, okay? Volume down, power key. Release, okay. Uh, using volume down, I, uh, select uh, reset recovery mode, okay. Recovery mode and press power key. And after the Motorola logo, we will see Android package. I'll take a few seconds. There you go. Okay, now it's uh, right here. You're gonna press volume down and power key for six seconds, okay? And then, so you have your finger ready because once you press this for six seconds, you're gonna press the volume up, just press and release for one second, okay? Uh, ready? Volume down and power. One, two, three, four, five, six press volume up and release okay okay so now using volume down if uh, for some reason you get the phone just um, like power on uh, don't worry about it just remove the battery put it back on and start over again uh, because this this uh, these steps kind of tricky sometimes uh, just remember press volume down power for six seconds then without releasing those two buttons press the volume up so this finger has to be ready for that just press and release okay and as soon as the menu appears release the two buttons using volume down we want to highlight wipe data factory reset okay so now press uh, star power key for okay and to confirm that everything is going to be deleted we already talked about it so just press uh, volume down and uh, you can select user data only or user data plus personalized content. So you have to, uh, to select the second option in order to delete any everything, okay? Um, so just uh, press uh, power button for that. Okay, so now uh, it's already been um, delete everything. So now just uh, go ahead and uh, select reboot system now. Just highlight that. So press power button for that. Okay, so now your phone will take a few minutes to um, completely reboot, and we're gonna take us to the home screen to select our language and. Uh, if, you, if your phone is already under a Verizon account, uh, immediately you're going to start searching activation. And if this is a brand new phone or it's not active on an account, then just uh, you can skip the activation, okay? Hello, Moto. Okay. Okay, so here you're gonna take a few minutes. So if this, uh, in this step, it takes longer than eight minutes, that means that something's wrong with the motherboard or the phone. So just remove the battery and start over again, the same process that we start at the beginning. Um, so that helps to calibrate the motherboard in order to the phone to perform properly. So uh, just so you know also about that. And a few more minutes and you're gonna get to the home screen setup
And also, if you get a lot of uh, drop calls or the phone gets stuck on Verizon um, or Motorola logo, then just you need to do a hard reset. But uh, just remember that everything is gonna be uh, delete on this on the phone. So contacts, videos, pictures, and email addresses. Okay, so now we are on the initial setup. So um, you can here just create a new account at a line uh, in case that you already have it on an account you will have the option to program the phone so you not if not just go cancel and you can exit activation Now here you have to select your language, so this is English automatically, so just let's go. And phone activation. So yeah, we are not able to, um, you already have any uh, active account on this phone, then automatically we start activation here, but so far we don't have anything, so just go next. Uh, copy your data, set up as a new phone. Um, you already have an email address. Here is where you have to uh, verify your email address, okay? The Google account. So even if you go to copy your data or set up a new account, new phone, you will have to uh, confirm the email address that previously was registered on this phone, okay? So uh, connect to Wi Fi later. We don't, we don't want to connect Wi Fi right now. Continue. An option available. I'll close this one continue okay let's see what it's asked here You pay one to set up a family account, create a new account, or a line phone, replacement device, close. Okay, so for some reason, um, because it's not active on, on an account, and it won't let us continue. Um, but uh, since you already have this phone under an, an active account, you will be able to pass or just register a, a, a Wi Fi and just continue following the instructions. Uh, on the Google setup or screen locks uh, setup in Google services and then you're gonna be able to get to the home screen okay thanks so much for watching my video any other questions let me know in comments comments and please subscribe to my channel for your own future uh, references in case that you need any help any other help with any other model okay thank you